Hi, this is Tom with Land of Math. In this video, we're looking at one of the concepts my students seem to struggle with every year. And that is, how can we divide a number and end up with a quotient or the answer that's actually larger? So in this video, we're going to do a few examples. We're going to model this and have a couple real basic rules at the very end to kind of help us understand how this is even possible. So all that's coming up next on the Land of Math. When we think of division, we usually think of taking a large number, dividing it, and getting a smaller number. And this is pretty common. For example, if we divide this 80, um, we end up getting 10 as an answer. Or in this problem, we start with 22, we divide it, and we end up with 11. But sometimes when we divide, we actually can get a larger answer. And this is confusing for a lot of kids. For example, if I'm dividing 10, my answer was 50. Or here I'm dividing 30 but the answer ends up 120. Much larger answers. Here's one where we're dividing 20, we end up with 40 as an answer. So how is this even possible? Well, first we'll model this. So let's say we start off with three and we divide it by uh, 0.25 or 25 hundredths. So if we do it on the calculator just to check and see what we get, you can see that we end up with 12. And so you might be thinking, how is it possible we could start with three, divide it, and end up with 12? So let's use a little U.S. currency here. So if we start with $3 and we divide it by 0.25, that would be like saying 25 cents. And if we took $3 and we divide it by 25 cents, you can see here that we have three, or I'm sorry, we have 12 different quarters. So three divided by 0.25 or 25 cents would be 12. Here's another example. So let's say we're starting with $2 and we're going to divide it by 0.05. And when we divide two uh, divided by 0 0.05, we end up with 40. So let's model this one. So like I said earlier, it's $2. And so let's say we're taking the $2 and we're going to divide it by a nickel, which would be 5 cents or 0 0.05 or 5 hundredths. And when we do that, we end up with $2 worth of nickels. And you can see here we have a total of 40 nickels. 20 nickels would equal a dollar, and there's our $2. So here's another example. So let's say we're taking 2.5 or 2.50 and we're dividing it by 0.5 or 0.50. So if I do that on the calculator, if I take 2.5 and I divide it by 0.5, I end up getting 5. So I started with 2.5, I ended up with 5. So again, using our money, let's say we had $2.50 and we divide it by 50 cents. What would happen is we'd have a total of five piles of 50 cents. And you can see that there's 50 cents a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, and two fifty. If we put them together, you can see there's a dollar, the two dollars, and we have our 50 cents left over. Okay, here's our next example. We're starting with two and we're dividing this time by one fourth. So we're going to model this one. So this is a little different because we have a fraction here. So we're going to divide by the one fourth. And you can see that our answer ends up being eight. So how's that possible? So what we have here are two circles. So there's one and then there's the other one. And we're going to divide those by one fourth. And you can see right there, that's one fourth of the circle. And if we do that, we would end up with six, I'm sorry, we end up with eight one fourth sections. So the two divided by a fourth equals eight. And here's yet another one. If we take three and we divide it by one half, we end up getting six, so positive six. So again, here's our three circles. We've cut all these in half, so we're going to divide by half. And when I take six, I'm sorry, when I take three and I divide it by one half, I end up with six. So again, we're taking a number, dividing it, and getting a larger amount, in this case, six. And you can see those six half circles right there. The bottom line, anytime you divide a positive number by a positive number less than one, like a fraction or decimal, your answer is going to be larger. Well, thanks a lot. Hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Until next time, we'll see you on the land of math.